This letter segment is brought to you by Bridge House Asset Managers, dedicated to advancing Canadians' knowledge of investing. Welcome back. Thanks for your letters, emails, tweets, and messages. Today's question is from Karsten in Hamilton. Dear Sybil, my wife is calling me a hoarder as I have a room full of old files, tax info, financial statements, manuals, and other important documents. I'm terrified of throwing something out that I might need at a later date, but I also don't want to leave a mess for someone else to clean up if I die. What do I need to keep and what can I throw out? Regards, Karsten. Yikes, I know that feeling. I've met people like you. You don't want to throw anything out because you're scared you might need it. You need to start now before this problem gets worse. Hopefully my tips will help you decide what you can get rid of and what you need to keep. Ask yourself, why is it important that you keep it? And can you find the information anywhere else? For example, all those manuals you have, most all, if not all of them, are available online. So I'd say, check them. You can pull them up on the internet anytime you need them. As far as old financial statements and bank statements, you can usually get duplicate copies, if you need it, from your current financial institution. If you haven't looked at some of those things for many years, why hold on to them? The one thing you do need to hold on to is anything that shows the proof of what you paid for something that you may sell at a later date, like stocks or real estate or art, because anything that's going to trigger a taxable gain, you need to have proof of your cost base, otherwise Revenue Canada will assume you paid zero and you'll have a huge tax bill. And as far as your tax records, keep them back at least six years. As for everything else, say bye-bye. And that wraps up this edition of The Wealthy Life, helping Canadians make smart financial decisions. Join the conversation on social media and tell us your story. Go to thewealthylife.com to ask your financial question and make the most out of what you have. <laughs>